words have left me re-erased And I say, hey
touch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? This is on. Were you supposed to go on that? No. Okay, well, don't do something you're not supposed to do, okay? Okay. I promise. Okay. Down here. Oh, you need that out. Did you drop it? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I be careful. You'll be careful next time? Yeah. Okay. It's way down there. Hey guys, so I just finished cleaning up all of Lily's ice cream. I just got done talking with her and reading our Bible verses just about how God chooses to forgive us. So we need to choose to forgive others as well. We should always forgive because we never know when someone will need to forgive us for something that we've done. So Lily was a little silly. She did a lot of things that maybe she wasn't supposed to. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Come here. Do? I'm just talking to the camera. Why? Because I'm just talking about how, you know, in the car when you weren't supposed to do something and you said that you were sorry and I said I forgive you. I forgive you. Yeah. You forgive me for dropping your ice cream that last time. Yeah? Well, guys, we are gonna get over and head to bed soon. I'm here with Lily. We are just winding down for the day. We're in our jammies. You have pretty jammies on. And we have our crazy hair. Um, but we had an awesome day today. We saw so many cool things. But um, Lily said sorry a lot today, huh? Yeah. Did you do a lot of stuff maybe you weren't supposed to? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I kept saying that it's okay and I forgive you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did that because... Jesus forgives us and so I'm gonna forgive you as many times as Jesus forgives us so she's only three but 70 times a 70 is a lot and God teaches us that we should forgive as many times as he forgives us so Lily I know that you said sorry a lot today but we're gonna work on it and do better tomorrow right right <laughs> bye bye are you good at math? Yeah. Yeah? What's... Can you show me a one with one. your finger? What about two? Two. Do two. 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 What about five? Five. High five. Woo! <laughs> Hey kids, I'm Kyle. Today we're talking about forgiveness. Have you ever had someone hurt your feelings and you forgave them? Maybe you even said, I forgive you. Forgiveness is not something that's always easy. That's because when someone hurts us, it's hard for us to say that we're okay with that person, even if they do hurt us. So that's why today we're learning with God, I will forgive again and again. All right, you heard it and let's all say that together. Are you guys ready? With God, I will forgive again and again. So I had a friend who hurt my feelings once. They said something about the way I looked to another one of my friends. And they teased me about it. They made fun of me. It really hurt my feelings. I didn't want to forgive them because I was mad at them. And honestly, I wanted to stay mad at them forever. That felt right. But when I talked to my dad about it, he told me that I should forgive them. And I was shocked. How could I forgive someone that hurt me? And then my dad told me about how Jesus forgives us. See, we all do bad things every day. And those bad things are called sin. And when we sin, it makes God sad. But he loves us so much that he wants to say, I forgive you to us. And he does that through Jesus. You see, Jesus died on the cross and rose again three days later to forgive us. That's amazing. So when we have those feelings where we don't want to forgive someone, we should ask God for help forgiving. With God, I will forgive again and again. Hey, let's all say that together. You guys ready? With God, I will forgive again and again. So why do we have to forgive again and again? Because we all make mistakes. We're human. 
So people will hurt our feelings and we should forgive them every time. You know, that reminds me of a story from the Bible. It's about what Jesus says about forgiveness. So let's read in Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. And that's in the New Testament of the Bible. It says this, Then Peter came to him and asked, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? No, not seven times, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven. All right, let's do some math here. Got my calculator, 70 times seven. Duh, 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 duh. Whoa, that's 490? So when my brother says something mean to me, I should tell him, I forgive you 490 times? No, that's not what Jesus is saying. You see, if we sat and made a mark for every time we told someone that we forgave them until we got to 490, we would be saying it all the time. We'd be like, hey, Steve, I forgive you. Oh, how are you doing today? Oh, by the way, I forgive you. Oh, I hope you enjoy eating all of that nice food in front of you. And by the way, I forgive you. That would be so tiring. What Jesus is really telling us is that we should have a heart full of forgiveness. So when we tell someone that we forgive them, we mean it. And that's hard to do if we try and do it on our own. We need God's help. With God, I will forgive again and again. All right, let's all say that together, everyone. With God, I will forgive again and again. When we forgive someone, we can ask God to help change our hearts so we can forgive them. We can always forgive them again and again. Even when we start thinking about that mean thing they said, we can stop and forgive them in our own heads. Even when we start talking about that mean thing that they did, we can stop talking about it and forgive them in our own heads. We have to ask God to help us forgive others, and we do that by praying to Him. It can be something as simple as, God, help me forgive them. God wants to change our hearts. He wants us to forgive. And if we try to forgive someone over and over again with only our own power, we will get tired and annoyed and frustrated. But when we have God helping us forgive, we don't have to feel that way because we can ask God to help us forgive again and again. With God, I will forgive again and again. All right, let's all say that together, everyone. You ready? With God, I will forgive again and again. Jesus forgives us for all the sin or bad things that we do, and He forgives us again and again. We can celebrate that and be excited that God loves us so much and we can be more like Him by forgiving others again and again. So let's forgive someone right now. Maybe you have a friend who hurt your feelings, or maybe your brother or sister did something to make you mad this morning. I want us all to stop and forgive them. Let's take 10 seconds right now to say, God, help me forgive them. And you can do that in your own head. All right, let's spend the time right now and forgive. With God, I will forgive again and again. All right, let's all say that together, everyone. With God, I will forgive again and again. And again, 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 and again. And maybe you want to start being more like Jesus for the first time today. You want to start your friendship with Him and ask for His help to forgive others. You can do that right now with me. Just pray and follow along and ask Him into your heart. Dear Jesus, we love you so much. We thank you for all that you have done for us, that you have forgiven us, and you want us to forgive others. So please help us to do that in our own lives. And I want to make you the leader over my life. So come into my heart and change me and help me to live more like you each and every day. Amen. If you made a decision to make Jesus the leader of your life, tell a leader or tell somebody around you. Remember, with God, I will forgive again and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Hey, I'm Christy. We're all going to make mistakes, and we're going to mess up. That's part of being human. But when we make Jesus the leader of our lives, he's on our side, and he wants to help us be more like him. He will help us to know that he forgives us and that we should forgive others. Even though we're going to mess up, we can always work to be more like Jesus. And we have to never give up trying to be more like Him and forgiving others, just like our memory verse says. Philippians 3, 13b through 14. I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. 
I press on to reach the end of the race, receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. Let's all say our one thing together. With God, I will forgive again and again. Ready? With God, I will forgive again and again.